how he had 16 bitches on rotation while in a relationship with her. He's a real life demon. The devil himself. That's him! Oh, like I said, there was you and all these other side bitches that I didn't give a fuck about. Many people could say, raw, like you met you met my mom, you met you met my family, da da da. I didn't give a fuck about their family. Like I said, I'd go to people's house, look at their mum right in the eye and be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And these times I don't give a fuck about their daughter or nothing else. And I still don't. Yeah? Go on. But during the second year we was together, like there was somebody that, like I said. WIT. Not you up there. Not the two below that I just kept there as a consistent link. Below that, I had a few other consistent links. Yeah? yeah? Mm hmm now, when I say consistent links, this I mean in the sense crazy. that I didn't even really like these fucking people. I might just have them around because one has a banging body. One's got fucking, one might be a light skin thing with green eyes. Another one might have a Jamaican accent and she's kind of thick. These people don't mean- just disgusting. Sh but that's, these people don't mean shit to me. They probably thought it was way more than it was because I would, like I said, I'd meet these people's parents. I'd meet, I was, I was seeing someone that was like four years old and then like, I'm, I met her fucking daughter. Like, I'd be like, I'd meet people's whole families and I didn't give a fuck about their family. That's bullshit. And I could say that confidently what and I could look in the camera, I didn't give a fuck what about them. Her daughter? I'd meet people's kids, I'd meet people's mums, their grandparents, I didn't give a fuck about these people. I don't understand why you think that's okay to be going around seeing all these people. Like, you told me that that's it makes you feel, up. what did you say? Per I don't know, like it's your purpose or something like that. When I'm not achieving anything else, the fact that I could get girl was the only thing that was an achievement to me. Okay, but it, that still doesn't make sense. Why is it that I could meet people's parents and not give a fuck no, about that? All of it. The reason all I of could, it. It's, it's not hard. Being able to meet so many people, for, for, for what reason? Don't you find it disgusting? Looking back at it, yeah. But at the same time, the reason, if you're asking me why I didn't give a fuck about these people and they're like, their families or anything like that, you know me well enough to know that I don't give a fuck about my biological mum. I don't give a fuck about my dad. I don't care about these people. My brothers, I don't give a fuck about these people. The only reason I ever even gave Christina, who's my biological mum, a kiss on the cheek is because I saw you communicate with her and you made me see her like somewhat of a human being. Because I never no, saw her. Terrible. You say no, that. but you know that. But you know that enough. It's not nothing new that you knew. You saw how I treated her. Yeah, but no, I didn't know that. That's the reason why. No, nah, I never gave a fuck about her. When you say to me Damn. how I could do these, do these, like, feel this way about these people, it's because if I don't give a fuck about my biological parents, why would I give a fuck about other people's parents? Do you care I don't, about your I don't child? Care about that. I'm going to get to that. No, do you care about your no. child? I need to, get to, need to get to I that. I need to get to that because you don't understand it. So I need to explain it to you, otherwise you ain't going to get it. So I'll Let's get to it. start now, explain it. So during I've never the, heard it. During the, second, during the second year when we've seen each other, like I said. Okay, so he got kids with her. He got all these side bitches thinking that he's going to be with them, you know, it's going to be a relationship, meeting their parents, their kids, and he doesn't give two fucks about them. That's, bro, this nigga is a, he this nigga, if there's heaven or hell chat, this nigga is going straight to hell, 100 billion percent. Jesus Christ. There's, there's being religious and not being religious, right? And there's being a bad person and a good person. This nigga is a bad human being. Holy shit. But he went through so much chat. And I just think like, at the end of the day, nobody wants to be a bad person. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, you go through so much that you have no choice. All you know is how to be bad. All you know is bad. So that's, that's what you, you know, show. Right? This nigga, he didn't have parents growing up. He didn't have siblings growing up. He doesn't know what good is. All he knows is bad. So how can he be good to somebody else? There's a time in his life he wanted to kill himself. All of that, like this thing. He had a horrible life. All he knows is bad. You can't, you can't do something you don't know of. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like, if 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 he's never had good throughout his own childhood, how can he give something good to somebody else? He doesn't care, bro. This nigga genuinely doesn't care. But it's like you can't blame him because, like, he's a product of bad, bad parenting, bad family. His whole family, he didn't have nobody. That's insane, bro. Like, 
there was somebody I was seeing mm -hmm. consistently that probably thought I was their man. I didn't give a fuck about them. She yeah? thought you was her man? All these people thought I was their fucking boyfriends. Everybody did. They could, they could, some of these people probably put pictures out of me and if, say that I was with them. I didn't give a fuck about them. They could think it was something special, but to me it wasn't shit. I would take a picture, I would take a picture of some of How often were you seeing these people for them to think that you're in a relationship with them? It was consistent over so when, years. So when, when was this happening when I was staying at your house, when we were staying together? Is it the moment I left? No. When I stay around, when I'll stay around three days a week and I'll go home? Is, like is I that said, these, these people were consistent. I, I just want to know where you found the time. I never had nothing else to do. So when you was working? The nightclub thing was what? First day to Saturday. Okay. The, but I'd meet you after sometimes. No, but so you I want to know when you had the time. No, but you got to remember as well, these two jobs weren't even consistently at the same time. So I always had free time. Anytime you ever said, I want to come and see you, I never said no, right? I always said yes. No, but the times you were working and I'll be at your house. I had a lot of free time. Now, let me ask you something. Let me just say something Wait, to you. Would you see these people after work? Or not off, I'd, I had time, that's what I'm trying to say. I had time to see all these people. I know, but where did you find the time when I was at your house? When I was staying this with you? This nigga's still we lying. You're not saying where did you have the time? The bitch was at your house and you were going to see other bitches. Nah, you fucked. You fucked. Yeah, you can tell he's genuine. Like, he's genuinely bad. Tap. There's doing something bad, right? There's doing something bad. It's already bad. If you're doing something bad, it's already bad. But at least you know it's bad, right? So it's not even that bad. Chat, there's nothing worse than somebody doing something bad and truly not knowing it's bad. Chat, I swear to God. A guy can cheat on a girl like this guy and genuinely think there's nothing wrong with it. Chat, people like this are lost. Lost completely. Like people, pe you like for example, you would cheat on your girl, but you know it's bad, or you regret, you regret it after. At least you regret. At least you're aware you're doing something bad. You know what I'm saying? At least you know what's going on. They're hor they, they're human beings like him. All he knows is bad. His whole family abandoned him. All he knows is bad. So when he does something bad, that's all he knows. He thinks he's doing something right. Like it's, he thinks he's, this is normal to him. That's insane. Bro, people family like family that you can't fix, bro. When did you see these people? Have you lied about working? No. <laughs> Even in Birmingham, there was somebody that I used to see in Birmingham. No, no. No, and it's not even the person that you thought it was. It doesn't matter. I know you were seeing but, people. No, but the point I'm trying to make is I had That's time. That's why I left you. No, but the point is Look I had time. Somali was goody. I had time to rotate 16 girl around, 16 girl around, and then have you as my main girlfriend. I had time. But Damn, like 16 I said, girls? I never saw these people as anybody I gave a fuck about. When I started working night shifts, and it's like all of a sudden, sometimes I'm calling his phone, he's not even answering his phone. And that, that was all during the time. I had time, I had free time, I had loads of free time. And do I come see you on the weekend? I had, yeah, I had loads of free time. You're making me sick. But. You're disgusting. So during the second year that I was seeing you. He fucked 16 other bitches, and then on the weekends, he'll get in her. Oh, did you, did, did you get tested at least? There was something I was just linking. Like I said, they probably thought it was more deep than it was. Like every, like the other f fucking, Shut up, like the other 16 Carry fucking on. people that thought it was something. There was this person I was linking, yeah? Mm -hmm. And when I got with this person, linking, 16 bitches one at of the, the reasons same I got time. on with them so well, yeah? And I actually met this person at the same event. When I first got with this person and linked them, they said they couldn't have kids. And I was like, that's fucking great because I don't want to have kids anyway and definitely not with you because you're just the side thing to me. Like, this ain't gonna ever progress to be fuck all, because I got my girlfriend, which is you, and I don't want nobody else like that. Yeah? <laughs> now, we Chat, he's talking like this, right? Chat, he's genuinely justifying cheating right now. This is what I mean. It's not that it, he's a bad person. It's not that he's trying to hurt her. All he knows is bad. So, like, it's normal. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's not that he's trying to hurt her. Like, do you understand how he's justifying this shit? It's something bad, but to him, it's genuinely not. He genuinely loves her, but he can fuck 16 other bitches. Do you understand how he's saying, like, he's genuinely saying this. 
You can tell when somebody's bullshitting trying to get out of trouble. This thing is genuinely sitting her down, telling her the reason behind why he was fucking 16 bitches while he was with her. Can't make this up. Oh, he knows his bad. Horrible family. Abandoned by, by his parents. All he knows is bad. Like, you can understand where he's coming from, though, chat. Like, it's like, I didn't, yeah, I genuinely feel bad for this guy, bro. I swear to God. May Allah be with him. May God be with him. Swear to God. It's crazy. I, oh, my God. Like, he's genuinely saying, like, you're my main thing, and these bitches are all side bitches. 16 bitches? This nigga drained. We stopped seeing each other. Why we stopped doing the consistent linking thing? Why? Not consistent because why? I didn't give a fuck about them. So okay. I just thought I'm bored of you. So you can, you can, like, why would I want to? Why would I want to see someone like that? I didn't see them for like six months, and then randomly out the blue they shouted me. I went to see them. We slept together. Now, you know me well enough to know that I can kind of control. I not I can kind of. Oh, I'm I not going to talk about that. Go on. No, but you know I have yeah, to. I have to say it, otherwise it doesn't make sense. Like you already know that I can control coming. Yeah? Really? Carry on. Yeah. You already know that it, like, I'm not firing at nobody unless it's by choice. Yeah? But this one time. <laughs> well, you, you didn't have to bring that up, bro. <laughs> he petty. He petty. He said, you know I can come on command. He said, I can control my cup. That's insane. How you do that? Now I need to cut any nigga pertinently. No, but when you fuck 600 bitches, chat, what the fuck? You can control that shit. Um, I did, not because I wasn't thinking, and I thought to myself, you can't even get, you can't even have youths anyway, so this don't even matter, like, and plus, I ain't seen you in six months and we ain't that, so fuck yourself, like, I'm just gonna do this, and then we ain't gonna see each other, whatever. It's just like a quick fling or whatever, yeah? Now, a few months later, that person had sent me a message and they said um they said that they was pregnant and the first thing i said to myself was brev i don't know why you tell me that bullshit brev you need to go to the thing and just get an abortion real quick because i don't want to have a fucking kid with you okay i'm no i'm not gonna laugh right now this is serious subject come on what the fuck is wrong with you bro What is wrong with you, bro? This is, no, bro. Like, it's actually, bro. Bro, what the fuck? Why is he talking like that? But you know what the crazy part is, Chad? She's gonna feel special. Because he's treating all, this, all these women like shit, and he's treating her good. She's gonna feel like the queen. Telling you this works like this works this works like a charm. She's hearing them out. Maybe she got paid for this. I don't know. But I feel like like there's a lot of guys. It might not be him because I feel like he took it too far in my opinion. But I like there's guys like this that go back with their ass by by by, by saying shit like this. They treat all the other bitches like shit, but you, you're the only person I treat good. Very very generic. It's insane, bro. Like. How do you treat a human being like that, though? I don't give a fuck about you, yeah? And in that moment, I just felt like I had to be super honest. And I said, look, Rev, I'll be real for you, you know? Like, you're one of, like, 16 people, yeah? You oh ain't even God. someone I see as my girlfriend. I don't even really like you like that. So, realistically, we can't, this can't be nothing like that. So, it's best that you do that. They said that they were gonna go do it. And then I was meant to go with them on that day. And to be fair, I didn't really give a fuck. So I just went to link some next thing. I didn't go with them. And then I felt like such an idiot because the, when they even told me that they were pregnant, I said, how can you be pregnant when you told me the first time I met you, you can't have kids? How can you be pregnant? So already I was thinking, Rev, I don't understand what the fuck is going on here. Like, and you know me, I've never been one of them guys to tell anybody I want to have children. And you know me well enough to know that from someone that's been with me for four years. And so you're you the only blocked her? No, I told her. No, you blocked her. I told her. You blocked her. Listen, well, you stuttered. How can you know what's going to happen if I'm not telling you? Yeah? Like I said, the first thing that went through my mind was, you said you couldn't even have kids, so this shouldn't even be a conversation. You gotta get the abortion real quick, so I don't wanna hear this, yeah? So they said they would go do it. Then the next day they come back and say they didn't do it. And I was like, bruv, are you dumb? Like, 
Why would you, you know not? What? It's not do you know what? Do you know what? First of all, first of all, I don't see why you feel like you have the right to tell anybody to get an abortion if they fall pregnant by no. you. Because you're the one that's being, like, no. you're moving reckless. No, no, listen. I you lay down as well. No, no, her. listen, listen. You said you could control yourself, no, but you didn't control yourself. Yeah, because I thought okay, so no, take, that's, that's you now. That no, is all you. No, because the person said they couldn't get pregnant. It doesn't so matter whether they said it or not. What do you mean it doesn't so matter what, if they said it if, or not? So anyone can say that and it's all right, you just believe them. No, you shouldn't just believe them. So what, this, what? You just believe I was them. Oh, this, okay, okay. So he can, he can, he can control the nut, but she told him he can have babies, so he nutted in her. Silly mistake. I mean, never mind. But I'm just saying, silly, very, very silly mistake. You shouldn't do that, chat. Don't do that. Person consistently for like two years, like on and off, like a link. So why would they lie to me about that? If I was linking them for two years like this, fucking them every so often, why would I think they'd lie about not being able to get pregnant? That's dumb. And she said this from the beginning. I believe them. Yeah, they told me that they couldn't from the beginning, the first time I got with them. Then fast forward now, as soon as they told me, I said, what are you even saying? Because you said you couldn't get pregnant. So what the fuck are you talking about? Lord, there's always a chance. Like, in that moment, I just, I'll be real with you, yeah? I told the person straight up, like, I don't know what kind of bullshit that you're trying to pull, but you're not gonna get me with no sympathy thing trying to make me feel, like, you're not gonna make me feel anything for this. Like, I'm not gonna be, I'm not one of them people that sells people dreams like I want to have a family of people. I don't want to have no family of people. You're the only person I ever wanted to have a family of. So I'm not the type of guy yeah, to tell people and sell people dreams that I want to have <laughs> a child with them. You know that well enough. As much as I <laughs> you chat tell shit, them, girl. you know that <laughs> enough to know that I would never tell somebody I'd want kids with them because I never wanted kids. <laughs> so into that now, I aired this person for four years. I blocked them because I said, bruv, what the fuck are you I trying to pull? Yeah? And I never spoke them to them, to them for four years. But then... By that, the and you don't even regret that? No. Not one bit? No. That your child is out there? I met, listen, the reason I don't, I'm going to get to that. You don't regret it? I don't regret nothing. I don't regret nothing. Just like when I met Christine at nine years old and I looked her in the face and I never felt nothing no, for her. No, but that's just like when about I met my dad I'm at 23, about your flesh and blood. You don't regret abandoning your child. Re, how can I feel, if I'm telling you right now, and you know me well enough to know that, I met Christine, my biological mom, and for how many years of my life, I never even looked at this woman as someone that, I'd even want to be associated with me. I hated looking at her, and she didn't even do anything to me. I just didn't like anything about her. Just like when I met my dad at 23, and then I met him and I found out, even though he was schizophrenic, even though Christine was schizophrenic, and understanding their situations, and understanding that they were both what on drugs, I still didn't, what, no, what just, listen, that, just listen to what I'm trying to say to you. Just because, just you're just waffling, because you're not making no sense. How's making that? sense, but you're not getting it. Just like I didn't give a fuck about them and what they went through, I didn't give a fuck about this. Same way. Just like when I met my dad, like I said, I didn't feel nothing. Just like when I met Christine, I don't feel nothing. I don't feel nothing for these people. I don't feel fuck all for these people. But after four years of airing this person, the only thing that made me even think to reach out, which is what I did, was not because of any emotional, sentimental thing, because I don't feel that. I just looked at it like, if it wasn't for my grandmother adopting me and helping me and saving my life and doing it, I'd probably be a cracker yeah. just like my my dad would be a crackhead. I might be schizophrenic like both of them too. So the only thing that made me say, I said to myself, let me reach out and make a communication and just, and try and build something, even though I don't like the person, what they've done. And let me build a, com a communication, but it's nothing, out of, it's nothing out of love or sentimental reasons. It's because I just thought to myself, I don't want this person to grow up and end up being a fucking crackhead and shot in a pussy for 20 pound, bruv. Like that's, that's all it is. It don't mean that I give a fuck about it or anything like that. Just like I said, I didn't give a fuck about Christine or my dad. I don't give a fuck about none of these people. Go back to your child. No, I think, Chad, he might be pushing it a little too far as far as how he feels. We're just talking about how he feels because this shit is flat out bullshit. We're, I'm not saying bullshit. Like, uh, this shit flat out evil as fuck. We've already been through that. But I'm saying he might be lying about how he feels at this point because he said, I didn't care about the person. I didn't have any love for them. I just didn't want them to grow up and be a crackhead selling a pussy for 20 pounds, right? That's what he said. That's care, that's some kind of care for his kid that he keeps on denying. So I feel like he does have some care for his kid, but he's, he keeps on denying it. Uh, to prove a point, for whatever reason, he so keeps on denying it. back to it. that, I then found out from this person, and I have- Forever bait was good. Even when I went to meet this person to do this paternity test, because I thought, you're still bullshitting, because how can you say you can have kids? And then all of a sudden, I just didn't believe it. So I took a paternity test thing, and in that moment, that person basically slipped up, and they, they basically admit they lied again. So by the time they even told me about 
they found out they're pregnant, they had known already. So by the time they even said to me, da 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 da, et cetera, et cetera, it would have been too late for them to do it. So in essence, it was never any kind of, I never really had any say in it, regardless. Okay, so in, in, like, in, term, in like the situation now, how do you feel about your child who's out there? What do I feel? Like how I do said, you feel about the child that's out there, your child? I don't feel... You, know, ever, you, don't, you never think about your child? I don't feel no sentimental, feel nothing. No, no love, love, nothing. No love within the first, towards your child. Within the first year, when, within the first... Within oh, the, we you know, was you great, look, man. You I was it's not about how I look, man. because I don't care about how I look to people. No, I'm being what, honest. Don't you, what, like, you're what, mad. Ju- it's not Local about being Somali, you see, this How do you not care about your own child out there? How do I not give a fuck about my biological mum or my dad? Like I said, the only reason I reached out was because... So, is that a, so your child is a situation that you're never going to go back to. That's it. You'll never I, reach I out. I have reached out. And that's the point I'm trying to make. After four years, I have. And then what happened after only that? Beca- and that's, I've been trying to build a com- uh, relationship from that. You've been but trying to build. Out, but it's not out of no sentimental reasons or out of love. I don't feel that. It's out of obligation because I know it's something that you have to do. Not because I feel nothing. Just like it's obligation for me to be, to show respect and show whatever to Christine. Even though I may not have any sentimental or love for her, it's just the fact that I should give that to her because she's my biological mum. Just like I should have some sort of respect for my dad because he is my biological dad. I'm not trying to sound like a dickhead, I'm just being honest. When you ask me stuff about how can you not care, how can you not have any sentimental feelings, it's because I can't tell you why I don't care for Christine. I can't tell you why I don't care for my dad just because they're family. The only people I give a fuck about is my dad. Yeah, grandma. he doesn't know how love feels, but like, t- I feel like you see like, this, he like, you're not obligated to do anything, Ted. He said, it's not because I feel love for her, for his daughter, it's because I feel obligated to do it. At the end of the day, you're not obligated to do anything. Just like you should, you should feel obligated to be there for your um, kids 24-7. That's, you should feel obligated to do that. But he didn't do that, right? So why is he doing this extra thing? So I feel like he's just so damaged, but you, you know, everybody has a little love in them and that's what he's showing. But the rest is just darkness. Oh my God, so sad, bro. Holy shit. Index, all right, gay, peace out. Uh, Forever Babe, this is a video of him um, just, uh, what's it called? Trying to explain to his ex how he had 16 bitches on rotation while in a relationship with her. This nigga's a demon. When I say a demon, I'm not one to, like I'm not talking about the TikTok. Oh, you a demon in game, bro? He's a real life demon. The the devil himself. That's him. That's my mom. That's the only person I give a fuck about. Anybody else? I don't feel it. Within the first year, when the person sent me a, kid, a picture of their kid, I took the picture and I threw it in the bin because I didn't give a fuck about that. I just thought wow. to myself, this person wow. is this person basically lied to me about some shit. And now I'm here, and now basically I've just created another situation where I've created another statistic. That's why I never wanted to have kids. I never wanted to have children. I never wanted to repeat what my grandmother had to go through. My grandmother had to restart her whole life at 50 years old just to raise me. Well, you should be more responsible then. No, and the fact that you had no, 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 no. you're right. You should be more responsible, and the fact that you do have a child that is your right to look after your child. Exactly, and it's not about throwing the bin because this is not what you wanted. Not 16 bodies forever, babe. Not 16 bodies. 16 bits in rotation. In rotation. That's more than uh, on a soccer pitch. There could be eleven players. Oh, in soccer, there could only be eleven players. This guy has sixteen bitches on all teams. Because you feel you. I don't know. Is well, that I feel like I was lied to. It doesn't so matter whether you feel like you're lied. It doesn't matter what situation you're in. The fact, like, why? I, it's like it's, it's this, like what? This side not screwed. What? Because I don't feel sentimental feelings towards people. That's no, not towards people for your own flesh and blood. What? What's you're, flesh and blood? The, the thing, you're, the thing that you're saying, yeah, you're basically blood. saying, no, because no, let what, me ask you something. In our relationship, yeah, as far as I'm concerned, yeah, you've made it out to me. You paint this picture as the reason why you don't care about your your biological mom, your biological dad, is because of how they were. For example, you just said now I she took, she got her t- she got her kids taken away from her. It's not about how they were. It's that I don't feel that. Okay, but you you you've mentioned how she got her kids taken away from her, so she stepped to someone else to have you. I'd understand why you'd be upset about that. Bro, why, I why you feel yeah, yeah. a certain type of way. It's not about being upset. I only found this out two weeks ago. It's not, I'm not upset about that. I'm not upset. I don't give a fuck about it. I met Christine at nine and I looked at her dead in the face and I looked at my grandma and said, I don't like this it's woman. It's because, sh- because you didn't know her. She, was, she hasn't been in your life. I've known Christine for, I've known Christine for my whole life. 
I've known Christine for my whole life. Your, never, your, your nan never... looks after you. Yeah. Your nan took you. Your nan also took. Your nan also took you away, and raised you. Yeah. So, so when you came back so to Christine's, you didn't care about her. Yeah. Because she has nothing to do with you. Yeah. So when, when you okay, keep on, so now this child you created that you created. No, but when you keep on talking about flesh and blood, you keep on making it seem like. Okay, but this is this is your problem. I'm, I'm not saying it's not my problem. That's the thing. You keep on trying to make it seem like I'm trying to take responsibility. I'm trying to tell you this is four years ago or whatever, and I'm telling you this is on from what's happened now. I'm trying to tell you that it took me all these times to actually understand myself and understand my thought process. So right now you've been trying to have communication? I have been having communication. You have been having yeah. communication. And that's like I said, it's not about love or anything like that. Just like when my grandmother took me, it wasn't, it wasn't about love. Yeah, your grandmother took you out of love. Yeah, but it was about obligation also. No, she wasn't obliged to. She, she was took obliged. you out of love. It's obliged. She did it because she feels... Because your parents were not well. Listen to what I'm trying to say. She did it because she was obliged to. It was half love and half being obliged to. And I know this because she's told me this herself. Which is Wait, like is he not getting to... Wait, there's no child support in the UK? Wait, 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 somebody tell me that. Somebody tell me that right now. Is there no child support in the UK? No, 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 this is serious. This is serious. I'm not lying. Hold on. Bro, what the fuck? There's no child support in the UK? I understand that. It's not an easy job, which is why I never wanted to have kids. I've been through the most... Oh, yeah, there is? ...with my mum. I've lived in flooded houses with my mum. I'd slept... And when I say my mum, I mean my grandmother. I slept in bed and breakfast with my mum. Slept, slept in houses made out of galvanage in the, Cal in the Caribbean because of my mum. I used to walk through cane fields in Dominica for my mum walking because we couldn't have transport. Even when my mum took me to Dominica and I was there, I was living in a room with eight kids. I had my first sexual experience at five with someone that was older than me. So like, when you're telling me that it's love, yeah, it is love. But His first sexual experience at five years old. No, he's talking about his mom because he's asking him, how can you not feel for somebody that's your blood, which is his kid? And he was like, he was like, um, he was like, it's not about being blood. For example, I don't give a fuck about my mom and she birthed me. So he's trying to prove that it's not about blood. He just doesn't care. Bro, bro, bro got some pussy at five years old. He, he got his first sexual experience. At five years old, how did he even get hard? Did he eat some pussy? Is that what you fucking did, Casello? But it's also obligation, which is why I've never sold anybody a dream of told and telling them I want to have a child with you and we're gonna make it work. Which is why, as much as I loved you, and as much as I wanted to get married to you, and as much as I wanted all these things with you, I would never ever do that to you because I would never put you in a position where I know myself and I know I'm not ready. And I'm guessing you up saying I want to keep so it. So had I got pregnant, then what would you have done? Hmm? If I fell pregnant, what would you have done? For you, for you, you're the only person I would want to have kids with. Mm -hmm. So it would have been a different thing. But I was never going to let that happen. I was never going to let that happen. Because I knew how I was moving and I never wanted that to be for you. I know how hard it is for a single mum to raise a child because that's been my whole life. And like I said, I'm not knocking the person that's the kids, like the kids' mum, whatever. I'm not knocking it because she's she's done a great job. But at the same time, of course, I'm gonna feel a way because I felt you I, knew I, I how hard it was to. for you. You knew how hard it was for your nan to raise you. But then at the same time, I was still lied to. So I'm gonna feel a way about that too. I just said you knew how hard it was for your nan to raise you. Yeah. For herself. Of course. And that's what you. That's what you would just want but for somebody else. But I was lied else. to. There's a difference. It's not like I lied and gassed somebody up and said I want to have kids. But with she you. never lied about like. Yes, yeah, she did. But How can you, you know, say she? What did she not lie about? What? Not being able to have kids and all of a sudden you can. Telling me, we, we should, I'm well, gonna go do this. Miracles anyway. happen, man. Huh? That's why I say miracles do happen. Jeff. Well, I'm a miracle, but I don't know about nothing else. This is the thing. I know what it's like to be resented and be disliked. When my when my grandma brought me to Dominica, she left me with the guy that she was with. He would bring me to all his side chicks' houses. Someone who killed dead animals, hold it in front of me, cut their hands, do all that bullshit, leave me with weird people, like so. It's not a thing about, I know, like I said, I know how hard things are. I know, I know I'm not a person that it's would like ever put somebody in that position. So, so it's not, it's not a love thing for me. It's obligation because it's the right thing to do. And it took me four years to get to that point because I don't want to resent anybody. I didn't want to resent a kid because of how I feel towards their, parent, their, their mother. 
which is why it took me, so when you say to me abandon, it's not abandon, it's about if I get around somebody and I feel how I feel and I am how I am, it's not gonna benefit anybody else. You'll get the worst of me and I don't wanna ever do that to somebody else's child. I never wanna do that to somebody's kid. I don't wanna do that to anybody because it's been done to me. Is there anything else you need to tell me? Mm -hmm. Like why you did it today? The reason I've done it today is because it's taken me a like, long Like, what are you trying to gain from it now? Like, what did you expect me to do from, to like, be fair, I never felt like I owed anybody anything, because I don't. But I always felt like I owed you. I could say that you're my first love, and I could say that you're the only person, like I said, I ever wanted to marry or have a family with. I'm not saying that, that's not happening now, obviously. But the point I'm trying to make is- Why would you I say that? Why would you say that? No, just keep talking, just keep talking. It's gonna work. No, 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 Steve. Casilla, whatever your name is, bro. Come on, bro. Just keep talking, bro. This is a good moment right here. Don't say that. Don't say that. Just keep talking. I just felt like you deserved the explanation for everything. And like I said, I never wanted to come off like... Obviously, you've seen me throughout the beginning and you've seen me... You've seen me before social media. Now you've seen me after social media. And then I never wanted you to leave with, like, the taste in your mouth that I was a shitty person. Who you was? Yeah. No, yeah, I was then. The taste will always be there. Yeah, of course. But the point I'm trying to make is that just like everything in my life, I'm learning to understand it a bit more and come to grips with it more. So it's not Christine's fault. It's not my biological dad's fault. That's just what happened. Yeah? It's my fault for believing someone and not... And, and <laughs> Why are you so excited someone about instead of strapping Nelly, up. no, 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 Nelly, bro. Don't you feel bad for him, bro? I feel so bad for him, bro. What do you mean? I'm not taking tips... Because I'm not a cheater. I'm a good ass person. I'm a good ass person. Shut the fuck up, B. I'm a good ass person. I'll never do some shit like this nigga, bro. Oh my god! I'll never do some shit. I'll never do some shit like this. 16 bitches on rotation. 16. It was my fault. So even though the person lied to me and they lied twice, it's still my fault because I shouldn't have even done that situation. No, 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 but when you think about it though, let's say they got back together, they got a happy family, bro, this is going to be a fucking movie, nigga. Nah, a director going to need to write this one down. They need to make this one a movie. If they end up together and then they, they, uh, they, uh, what's it called, have sex and shit? Halas, <laughs> nigga. I'm telling you, nigga. Like, chat, chat, you see what she does, bro? Nelly, stop. Stop, don't do that. I've come from a broken kind of family kind of thing and I've continued that and although they may not be like love bro, I'm gonna sense, tell you Melly if you're talking to me you better fucking stop and it's the right thing to don't do know so that. what I'm saying don't is like that. just you, like them don't do that stop. even with the youth situation stop. like just I've stop. had to realise that I can't Although the person lied to me, I have to be real with myself and say I, I shouldn't have got myself in that situation and I have to deal with the responsibility. But I'm still not going to lie to myself and say that it's love because it, it still ain't love for my biological parents even though it ain't their fault. It's not love for nobody because it's hard for me to feel that. I only love my mum, which is Elizabeth. That's the only person I, I have real feelings for and I know that sounds like I'm being a dick, but I just can't help it. It's just how I am. And, and if he said that, you know what would have been the punchline? You know what would have been the punchline, Tat? And don't ask me how I know this shit. You know what would have been the punchline? He said, I didn't feel love towards anybody because it's so hard for me to feel like that. But I felt it for you. If he said that, chat, oh, that would have been a punchline right there. That would have been, that, that, that would have been a punchline right here. Stain and anger I felt. And which is why I talk about, it's taken me years to get past that feeling of anger and bitterness towards the whole situation. Because at the end of the day, it wasn't my fault my parents had a one night stand. Just like it ain't this youth's fault that I was fucking bed things and this thing thought it was something deeper. And then it is what it is. And I don't give a fuck about that person. It's not the youth's fault. When I look back at me and you, I have all these Bezo great was goody. thoughts and I have all these great feelings and all these amazing times of you in my head. But then when I really put down to the reality, I was doing, a, I did a lot of wrong to you. I did so much wrong to you. And as much as I loved you, and as strong as my feelings was towards you, I was doing a lot of wrong, which is why I wanted to talk to you in person and say it, because do you know what the problem was? The reason I loved you I'm so much your lane, bro. is because I've never seen m my mum in someone, and that's what I saw in you. Everything about you, it just gave me a reflection of her, which is why I felt 
so strongly towards you. And which is why when I talk about family and kids and all these different things, that's why it comes back to you. I mean, you know I broke up with you, right? Because I just kept having, not only was I having gut feelings about- What? Towards the end of our relationship, I would say around three months towards the end, I really fell out of love. Yeah. I just don't feel like, I just feel like me being there is wasting my time because I know what you're doing. Like, it's, I feel like I know what you're doing, but mm. you would never change. Yeah. Remember the last time I broke up with you? I, like, my friend saw you on a dating site. No, that wasn't the last time you broke up. No, the, you not mean the last the time, the one time. before that. Yeah, the one I before you that, the last yeah, time. you yeah. were on a dating site and it was you, it was all your deals there. And yeah. I showed it to you. That yeah. was the first time I broke up with you. And so it's just, it's just like, do you know what? Oh, I'm man, okay, like, hold on. And we've already, what, two and a half years in my relationship. So it's like, the last time I just felt, there's no point, it's not going to work out, you're not going to change. So what am I here for? If I was to ask you, oh, if you feel like we should, remember we, have, we normally have our talks yeah. about being in a relationship, like how we feel. If I was to ask you the same question, you will say it's perfectly fine. So I didn't give you the opportunity yeah. to have that talk with us, like that, that certain conversation, so. And you're right, because at the time, I wouldn't have been honest because I had so much on my mind, even that situation and, and, life and everything. And I, even I after everything you said, it's just like, I just find it hard to believe that you saw your mum, like the way you portrayed me, like you've seen your mum and me and, and all that stuff. I just find that hard to believe while she was out doing what you was doing. You wouldn't be doing all that stuff. No, that's I, what you thought. I, know it, I know it's hard for you to get it, but that's how it is for me. Like I said, where we go from here, I don't, obviously, we're never going to get back together like that. Mm -mm. But at the same time, I just never wanted you to leave with that feeling about me, to feel like I was a bad person. Even with what I've told you about, he Myself, truly doesn't you, give a fuck. Everything else. I, I have changed from how I was before. And it's taken me a long time to get to that point. So with you, like I said, it's not about be even being a friendship. It's just down to just you, like, closing up the chapter that was me and you. Chapter's closed. Yeah. yeah. Done. Give her a hug, man. Give her a goddamn hug, man. Man, give her a goddamn hug, man. Man, give her a goddamn hug, man. That's ridiculous, bro. You gonna let her walk out like that? And turn the crazy thing is she wouldn't win him for a hug, man. This nigga is heartless, Tap. This nigga is a demon, Tap. Like, I'm not talking about, oh, he's good at the game, he's a demon. Or he's a player, he's a, he's a real life demon. Demon. He's walking on earth. He's a demon.